across it just like that. Okay, so it just covers both areas, the top and the bottom. So you fold that first one and tuck it, four by four? Yeah, tuck okay. it, because she's got two two dimensions right there. Okay. She has the pad that comes out, so you got two dimensions, so you have to put one under it and one above it. Okay. All right, then what you want to do is you want to make your stirrups, and you put them in a separate spot each and every time you do a bandage, okay? Okay. Move around. So this oh, time, every time you change it, you... Okay. Put, yeah, new stirrup. Usually you go one on one side, one on the other. This time, since we've done two every other time, we're only going to do one, which is on the front side because there hasn't been one here, okay? Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our little sock on, okay, just to hold everything together here because I, my whole thing is to keep it as dry as possible. Right. That's the thing. It's been getting moistened, and it's not from her doing anything. It's moistened from basically her body temperature. Sweating sweating up in there so and you putting a bag on our foot in the morning yeah my grandma does uh, she's been at my I'm grandma's because sure. i work and i was on a cruise for a week oh, that's nice. usually she lives at me um but and then with the storm I'm, and i'm plus i had to go back to work and because if not she might just sit home and tear her stuff off mm -hmm. but um so grandma said she puts it on i did a ziploc one day she was home with me i did a ziploc and then a rubber band mm -hmm. yep. whatever works yeah. absolutely and now we're just going to flip this onto itself and give her her little toes and Good take the end of the stirrup, too. twist it and stick it onto itself. And fold your head up silent. You're almost done. Was she quiet as a puppy? Yep, she was a runt. Um, she looks big. If you see like other basset, I see it on the basset hound page. She looks very, very little. Plus, if you look, her nose is little and her ears aren't as long. And we got her somewhere. They, my grandma and them got her on the way to 200 on the right where all those, I think there's like an RV set up. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a house. Back down there, there's a road that goes all the way to the end. That's where she came from. Oh, nice. Local. When you put the stuff on, you kind of pull it snug, girl, but you don't pull it too snug. You just kind of let it lay as you're applying the bandage. By the time you get finished with it, um, you should be able to, it almost sounds like a, a, a melon. Mm -hmm. It seems very snug. solid. Yeah. But you don't want it too tight because you don't want to cord the foot. And then you fight with that wrap. ahead and take your vet wrap, pull it off before, just so it doesn't apply too much tightness, because see how it, like elastic, yeah. goes back on and you don't want that to happen. It's easier if you have smaller vet wrap than using the half of there. things called scissors. <laughs> I forget I have all the time. They're in your pocket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and always run your finger around here just to make sure it's nice and smooth underneath there and she doesn't have too much pulling on. There you go, you're pretty. Mm -hmm. Don't jump, suicide yeah, Sally. Don't do that. What's today's day? 11th. Oh, shorty. You just date it so you can remember what date you put it on. It Every can go three as days. Far as, yeah, you can go as far as five days, she said. But it's best to recommend to get it off every three days. It seems like so it looks 